Abbey Flexi Capture for Invoices is designed to bridge the gap between documents coming into your, your business and the posting of that data into a line of business applications such as your accounts payable system or an ERP system. What it does is not only extract data from documents, but it also validates that data against predefined but customizable business rules. And that way you're ensuring that the data that reaches your end of line, or line of business application is of the best quality it can be. So let's see what this, this system looks like. So the first thing we need to do is acquire some images for processing. Now this can be done in a number of ways. This is using what we call our scanning station. That can be used to drive a scanner directly attached to a PC or to query images from a nominated folder, which is what I've done here. But in a production environment, um, what would normally happen is you would have a network folder that people scan into, um, or we would pick them up from something like an invo uh, email inbox. But this is just to show what happens in the background, really. So we have here a number of invoices. Um, some of them are in color, some of them are in black and white. What we're able to do is apply a number of uh, what we call pre-recognition processes to these invoices if we need to, uh, to ensure that we get the best quality data captured. So here, for example, we have an invoice. This, is a, this particular one is a Spanish invoice uh, that has a gray background around the text. What we can do is by converting this to black and white, we can drop that background and that's going to improve the recognition of the characters. Once we're happy that all the invoices have been scanned correctly, they're all up straight or orientated in the correct way, we can send these for processing. Now this is just within the demonstration, I've done this manually. Normally this would be a fully automated step with no human intervention. Once the invoices have been sent for processing, they're being classified and the data is being extracted from them. Once that data has been extracted, we then need to verify that that information is correct. And for that, we use this tool, which is called a verification station. Now I'm clicking through a number of windows here. This is just because it's a demonstration system that's used for multiple tools. But in your environment, what we can do is we can um, default this so that each user has specific tasks or specific tasks to complete. You can see here that I now have one queue for verification and no queues for exceptions. Exceptions is used when documents are scanned in by mistake, such as a letter, a piece of correspondence or a purchase order or something that isn't an invoice, that would be captured by the exceptions queue for you to work to uh, manually um, correct. So we can see that of those five invoices that have been scanned in, three of those have been correctly recognized and are therefore valid. We have two, one in an exception state and one in a rejected state. What this means is that the, n these two invoices don't comply fully to the set of business rules that we have in place for these invoices. So if I click on this first one, which is an exception, we can see here down in the bottom right hand corner that there's uh, an amber or yellow flag set for the invoice date. And that's because the invoice date doesn't fall within the predetermined range. So as an operator, I now have the option of uh, choosing a reason that this is an exception or forcing it to be valid. Now, that may or may not meet your internal business rules, and this can be adjusted as such. With the rejected invoice, it's exactly the same idea, except you can see here we have a red flag. A red flag is a hard stop, meaning that the operator doesn't need to choose the reason of or, or what's going to happen to this particular invoice. The system has said, no, this is not a valid invoice. It does not meet business rules. And the reason for that, if we look here, is because the expected value for the tax line isn't as it should be. So, for example, we have uh, a total a net tax and a total amount here and a tax percentage of 19%. So the system has worked out what 19% is of the net amount and it knows that that tax line doesn't match and therefore there is a problem. With these three that are valid, all of those checks have been passed and therefore we know that the information that's being passed to our line of business application is correct. You can see here that we've identified the business unit. So this is the addressee of the invoice. The vendor or the supplier of the invoice has been identified, invoice number, invoice date, and total amounts. If we needed to, we can use our find button 
to look up our vendor from our vendor database. We can also search for vendors using type ahead or a smart search facility. The same is true of the business unit as well. Where information is incorrectly identified, should that happen, you have the ability to correct that using your mouse. You can see as I move the mouse over the fields, they're highlighted. So for example, if this tax rate was incorrect, I could simply choose the correct value. Notice when I do that, this training button up here lights up. What training allows you to do is to correct invoices that have been incorrectly recognized so that future invoices, the information is extracted correctly. Once I press this train button, a copy of this invoice is sent to a training queue. The training queue allows you to um, manage all of the invoices that have been sent for training by operators in a vendor specific way. So for example, it will form a task for each of your suppliers. We can have a look at that in a moment. Once training is complete, and the, the period of training will depend upon the number of fields captured on the invoice and um, the quality of the invoice as well. But once training is complete, we can then export these documents and at export, the information extracted will be posted into your line of business application, which could be SAP, for example, uh, Sage, any number of uh, invoice solutions. So once I'm happy that I've validated it or I have done everything I can to validate the invoices, I simply close the task. Notice here that it's prompting me to say that I've got invoices in my queue with rule errors. Do I want to go and check them? Well, we've already done that, so I can just click no to that. And you'll notice now that I'm ready to process my next queue of documents. Now I talked about the training. What invoice training does, as I said, is it allows you to correct identification of, of information. So where you've got invoices that maybe the invoice date has been misread as a delivery date, or you have um, a total amount that's been incorrectly identified, training allows you to specify the correct location on the invoice by supplier for that particular piece of information. And you can see that when that happens, it forms a queue or a list of each supplier. So if we have a look at this, you can see that we've got various different states. So we've got three suppliers in training, one is stable. Where a supplier has a stable state, it means that no training is required, the invoices are captured correctly. Where you have a training state, it means that the data is able to be extracted from the invoices, but an operator is intervening and choosing the location for a particular piece of data. And obviously you want to minimize that as far as possible. What you're able to do or what, what you're able to do as an administrator is to choose to train those documents and that will make those changes persist. And therefore, next time an invoice comes in for two MKIT services in this case, the extracted data will be correctly identified and that information will automatically be, be posted to your line of business application and there won't be the need for human intervention. Once an invoice is, or once a supplier has been trained, that supplier is then locked so that no further training can take place. And this is a security feature really preventing users from overtraining invoices or going past the point of good recognition and then beginning to cause errors. If that does happen, you have the ability to disable training or if a supplier changes their um, format of invoices, again, you're able to disable the training and begin the process from the very beginning. Not only can invoices be, uh, or invoice data be extracted and sent to a line of business application, but it is also possible to extract a copy of an invoice so you can see here that we've got, in this case, an XML document which contains all of the extracted information ready to be passed to your line of business application. But we can also produce text searchable PDF copies of the invoice in their original format, which can be then posted into a document repository or into your line of business system. And what we're able to do is manipulate those images to make sure that you get the optimum 
file size for your particular business so that the incoming invoice may be a very large file, the outgoing may be very, very small.